Hello po muli. So, palpation, pagpapatuloy po tayo. Front mo, back shoe, source you one points. Front collecting or move points. With single exemption, the front collecting points are all located on the chest and abdomen. So, tandaan po natin na nasa chest and abdomen lang po natin natatangpuan. The Chinese character mo literally means to raise, collect, and list, recruit. So in this context, it has the meaning of collecting that is. These are the points where the chi of the relevant organs collect or gathers. So andun po sila naiipon. So these points are frequently used in palpation diagnosis because they are easily become Tender on palpation. Kasi andun nga naiipon, kaya maganda po siyang gamitin. Ibig sabihin, marami kang mararamdaman doon. Or even spontaneously when the relevant organ is diseased. They are used di diagnostically, particularly, but not exclusively in acute conditions. For example, the point lung 1 will be tender in acute lung disease. Pagpapasok pa lang po yung halimbawa inuubo bago pa lang ano, nasa labas pa lang. So, matigas po yung lang one. Nandito pa ang lang one natin sa may ano, taas na, sa may malapit sa kilikili. Such as bronchitis, however, the same points also may be tender in chronic asthma. The front collecting points are So, lungs, pag sa lungs po ay lang one. Pag large intestine, stomach 25. Stomach, pag stomach naman ay yung CV12 or REM12. Pag spleen, liver 13. Nasa side po ng ano natin, tagaliran. Pag heart naman, REM14. Small intestine, REM4. Ren pag bladder is REM3. Kidney, gallbladder 25. Pericardium, REM17. So, Lahat po sa harapan niya na, no? trifle burner, ren, 5, gallbladder, give it 24, and liver, and liver is liver 14. So, harap na ating katawaan. So, ang langwan po ay particularly useful to diagnose condition of emptiness or fullness sa lungs in interior disease. So, ma pag ginamit po nyo yan, ang mapapalpit nyo ay mismo yung kalagayan ng lungs. Such acute or chronic bronchitis, asthma, and emphysema. Ang lang to naman po is also frequently tender on palpation. So lang one, kasundod po yan ang lang to, nandito pa rin sa may shoulder, in the same condition. Ang stomach 25, dito sa ating may puso din, no? 1.5 tune mula sa ating puso. It's very important point in abdominal diagnosis. Because it is readily reflex, full or empty condition, not only on the lower intestine, of which it is the front collecting point, but also of the small intestine. So stomach 25 is also often the center of stagnation of qi or blood stasis in the intestine. So in which cases, the abdomen feels distended and palpation. This point also, one where dampness in the intestine frequently accumulates, in which case, it will feel harder on palpation. Isa ang pag pinalpit yung stomach 25, yung mga, may mga stagnation, lalo pa ng halimbawa, hindi na, masakit yung tiyan, hindi makautot, yan, pag pinalpit po ninyo yan, so, may maririnig kayong parang tunog, then talagang lalabas po yung mga hangin. Pag pinrasyon natin. Ang REM12 naman po, so, is an extremely important point. So, andito pa rin po yan sa ating uh, abdomen na so may sa harapan ng katawan. It's always be palpated because it reflects full of empty condition of the stomach. So, dito sa may stomach natin. A distended feeling on palpation indicates stagnation of cheek and a hard feeling on palpation indicates dampness or retention of food. If the points feel very soft on palpation and the hand sink is easily, 
it indicates a condition of deficiency of the stomach. So, lagi pong natin tandaan, pag soft deficient, pag hard, may stagnation or dampness. So, when palpating REN12 at the associated point should be palpated because they are reflect the state of stomach. These points are stomach 20, kidney 17, and stomach 21. And hanapin po natin yung mga channel niyan. Liver 13. So, reflects full and empty condition of the spleen. It can be frequently identified a feeling of distension on palpation of this point. So, nagsasabi po itong may stagnation ng cheese sa spleen. Pag matigas, ano? Yan. So, kung ipinalpate natin ang liver 13, then other associated points indicating the state of the spleen, sama po natin ang kidney 17, 18, then ang REN 9, and stomach 21. CV14 or REN14. So, napakalaga din pong ipalpate nito. Kasi nagsasabi ito, makikita natin kung full or empty ang condition ng puso. Yan. Especially when caused by emotional problem. Yan, pag pinalpate ninyo, the consistency of feeling of the area around this point should be compared and contrast with that of lower abdomen around REN6. Dito po sa baba ng ating pusod. The area around REN14 should be feel relatively soft compared with REN6, which should not be hard, but should be harder than REN14. When the area around this point feels distended or hard, so it is usually indicates stagnation. So may comparison po lagi. So compare. Opti affecting not only the heart, but Often the lungs and stomach as well. So, generally, pag may emotional problem po. Kung ang area po ng REN14 ay malambot at pag dininin nyo ang inyong kamay ay nagsishing, deficiency condition po yan ang puso. So, kung ipapalpate po natin ang REN14, we also should always palpate REN15. Dahil, although it is not the front collecting point of the heart, it is very much function as one. And palpation at this point, therefore, has the same diagnostic significance that of REN14. Idami na rin daw po nyo yung 15 pag nagpalpate kayo ng 14. REN4. So, indicates full or empty din condition ng small intestine. Sabi nito yung experience itong author, this is a secondary aspect of palpation. I feel that the condition of the small intestine is also reflected by palpation of other points. Stomach 25, stomach 27, and 28, and 29. By contrast, ang palpation daw po ng REN4 ay important dahil nagpapakita ito ng full or empty condition ng uterus. So, dito yan sa baba po ano. And dapat penetrating directing vessel. So, if this point will distended on palpation, pag matigas po ano, indicates stagnation of chi sa uterus. If it is feels hard on palpation, may retention ng dampness sa uterus. Siya po yun yung mga nagmemonstrate na namimilipit. So, it feels hard when sensation of mass. So, kung mayroon kayong makapang parang mga bukol-bukol, may bloody stages po yung uterus. So, at this point, feel very soft and then sink. Nagsasabi po ito na may deficiency ang uterus at ang penetrating vessels. This finding is common sa multifarous women. Friend 3. So, REN3, readily reflects full or empty condition of the bladder on palpation. However, palpation of this point also reflects the condition of liver, channel, especially in urinary condition. For example, if this point feels distended on palpation, it indicates stagnation of chi. Not only the bladder, 
but also in the liver channel, usually causing urinary flab problem. So, pag naramdaman po ninyong matigas ito, nagsasabi po yan na may retention ng dam sa bladder or sa liver channel. CB3 or REN3. Tal bladder 25 naman po. Pag itong ating pinalpate, makikita natin ang kalagayan ng kidney organ. So kung matigas po ito ating pinalpate, nagsisabi po itong mayroong infection ng kidney. So pwede yan pong yung pag matigas, di ba yung mga nahirapang umihi. Yun. Kidney infection. Pag rent 70 naman, indicates din po ito, nagsasabi ko may full or empty condition ang pericardium. So, according to the same general principles, principles depending on whether it is feels hard or soft on palpation. So, nagsasabi po ito ng condition ng puso at ng pericardium. Pag pinalpate mo po ang REN14 at saka REN15, so, dapat isinasama pong pinapalpate yun pag nagpalpate yun ng 17. 14 and 15. So, more important. Ang REN5 naman po, so, lower burner po ito, ano? Uh, small intestine, bladder, and uterus, and kidney. Pag matigas, at ibig sabihin, full condition ng mga organ na to. Kung malambot, deficient ang mga organ na to. Or, yung original chi, yung u one chi natin ay deficient. CB5. Next is gallbladder 24. So, indicates din ang state of the gallbladder. A hardness of this point indicates the, the, asan ako? the hardness of this, this point indicates dampness sa gallbladder. And softness indicates gallbladder chi deficiency. So, liver 14, nagre-reflect po yan sa kalagayan ng liver. Ang paninigas po ng points na to, pag pinalpate natin, ibig sabihin ay full condition ng liver. Or may chi stagnation or may blood stasis or dampness. So kung malambot po ito, liver blood deficiency. Okay, hanapin na po natin yung points try ninyo. Next is back transporting o oh, bisyo points. The back transporting points are all located on the bladder channel of the back. Also may be used diagnostically. Alam po natin yung back shoe, yung shoe points natin. 1.5 June from yung buto natin sa thoracic vertebra. The same principles that apply to front collecting points apply to these points. That is, is if they are tender of palpation, and pa rin po, pag tender, full condition. of the relevant organ. So kung naririlib po pag ating pinalpate, empty condition na relative organ. So the part, a particular diagnostic significance of palpation of these points, they reflect specific relevant organs as opposed to each channel. Halimbawa po dito, may tenderness sa bladder 18 nagsasabi po na full condition ng liver. Kaya pag pinin, pinindot po nyo yung bladder 18, yung likod, maaray siya, full condition. So the back transporting points are as follows. Tingnan po natin. So, ang lungs is bladder 13, pericardium, sunod-sunod po yan. Kakapain nyo yung mga ano ng buto, it's 1.5 from, from the vertebra. 14, pericardium, heart, 15, liver is 18, gallbladder is 19, spleen is 20, stomach is 21. Nagdali naman pong sa uluhin yan. Triple barn is 22, kidney is 23, 
bladder 23, larger intestine is bladder 25, small intestine is bladder 27, and bladder is 28. Unod sunod ng po siya. Next is source or U1 points. So the diagnostic use of source point is described in the chapter 1 ng spiritual access. Sinasabi po doon, if the five yin organs are diseased, naalala po ninyo ito, diniscuss na natin ito noon eh. Abnormal reaction will appear at 12 source points. So kung yung five, five yin organs po ay my deficiency or excess condition, or this is siya, abnormal reaction daw po ang mararamdaman pag pinindot nyo yung 12 source point. If you know the correspondence of source points to the relevant yin organ, we can diagnose when a yin organ is diseased. So this is statement clearly indicates that the source points are in relation with the original chi and that can change us on the skin over the source point or tenderness on palpation indicates abnormalities in the relevant yin organs. So that it should be noted that chapter 1 sa spiritual access book list source point only for the yin organ as follows. So, so mga yin lang po ano? So lung 9 for lungs, pericardium 7, dialing for the heart, spleen 3, tibia for the tibia for the spleen, liver 3 for the liver, kidney 3 for the kidneys. So this makes a total of 10 points. It's points being bilateral. Kabilaan po yun. Paanang ano ng mga alimba, kidney tree, kabilaan. And the other two source points listed in this chapter are REN15. For fat tissue. And REN6 for membranes. Ayun, pag may mga problem yung mga fat, REN15. Palpate po ninyo yan. So thank you po for your attention. I-review po natin yung mga points, hanapin natin yung mga location para alam natin kung saan natin ipapalpate. Yan lang po yung ano nun, review-review lang. Tsaga-tsaga lang po. Thank you po.